the leader of a gang suspected of being behind the Dalston drive-by shooting that left a nine-year-old girl fighting for her life has been killed in Moldova, it's merged. Is it Erin, the boss of London's notorious Tottenham Turks gang, who was shot seven times as he sat outside a cafe wearing his short sliders and a baseball cap? It's understood. The 41-year-old was killed instantly after three bullets fired from a gun and riding on an electric scooter struck him in the head. The attacker was wearing a helmet and then fled the scene. British detectives are said to be investigating whether the gang leader's death is related to the shooting in Dalston in North East London on May the 29th. An investigation was launched after a young girl was shot in the head and critically injured while three men aged 26, 37 and 42 were also struck by bullets. One of the targets was a member of the rival Hackney gang who had previously been shot in the neck in an apparent Tottenham Turks member. The two gangs have been involved in a long-running feud and made a fight for control of the lucrative drugs trade in London. In the most recent update last month, Scotland Yard said the nine-year-old girl who was having a meal with her family when she was shot is still critical but stable. The high-profile death of one of a senior gang lord has sparked fears that more violence could erupt on the streets of Britain. A source has stated this is thought to be connected to the shooting in Hackney and the concern is that it's all going to be Kicking off now, expect a retaliation on the streets of London. Scotland Yard spokesperson said the Met Police are aware of reports of the death of a 41-year-old man in the Moldovan capital, Chisinau. So Erin, may he rest in peace, was jailed for 21 years in 2015 for firearms offences in London, but he'd been transferred to a prison in Turkey in 2019. He was arrested in Moldova two years ago after absconding from the Turkish prison after just a month. Met Commander Fiona Mallon said at the time that extradition proceedings were underway but he was reportedly later released and it's believed he has masterminded the gang's operation in the UK whilst he's been on the run. In 2015, one of his gang members was shot dead by police outside Woodgreen Crown Court during a failed prison break. Jermaine Baker, who was 28, may he rest in peace, was shot dead as armed officers swooped in. Aaron had arranged for his gang to free him from the van. His cousin... Ozkan Erin was jailed for attempting to free his relative. There have been quiet periods in this bloody violence, but it appears to have reignited again in late 2022 when the Turkish DJ Mehmet Kore Alpajin, is 43, and his girlfriend Gozde Dabuldak, who was 34, were tortured and killed in an empty wine bar on White Hart Lane close to the Spurs Stadium. His body was dumped in Essex Woodland while she spent two days locked in a toilet before being freed by her captors and given money for a taxi. Two men were found guilty of his killing last December, with the court told that the international organised crime was at the heart of the case. So in relation to this incident that occurred yesterday in Moldova, the Interior Ministry said a person aboard an electric scooter fired several shots at a man who was sitting on a cafe terrace in the stylish Riscani district. The attacker managed to escape. The chief police inspector, Vioro Serentaninano, told National Radio that the incident bore the hallmarks of a highly professional killer. Police posted pictures online of footage from security cameras of the suspected assailants wearing a protective helmet. So the interior minister said that the victim had featured on their Interpol list wanted on suspicion of trafficking drugs and his asylum application had been rejected but legal proceedings had not yet been completed. And in another news story, a man has been jailed for 13 years after being found guilty of manslaughter. Elijah Clark, is 20 from Chelmsford, appeared at Chelmsford Crown Court, where he was sentenced to 13 years in prison today. The sentence followed an investigation by Essex Police's serious crime director following the death of 16-year-old Andy Wood in Chelmsford in February 2023. Officers were called to a street in Chelmsford at around half 11 at night on 12th of February 2023 following reports of a boy being seriously assaulted. The victim, Andy Wood, was taken to hospital where he sadly died. His family paid tribute to him, describing him as a fantastic human being who will be remembered by all that he touched as an amazing, loving, caring son, grandson, brother, nephew, cousin and friend. 
that did not deserve to be taken away so soon. Elijah Clark was arrested within hours of the assault and later charged with murder and CCTV inquiries showed him leaving the scene on an electric scooter shortly after the assault. Following a four-week trial at Chelmsford Crown Court which concluded on the 2nd of May, a jury found Clark guilty of manslaughter on ABH. Elijah Clark appeared at Chelmsford Crown Court today where he was sentenced to 13 years for the manslaughter offence and 18 months for the actual bodily harm offence and the sentences are to run concurrently. Senior Investigating Officer Detective Chief Inspector Louise Metcalf said this sentence concludes a long investigation by our serious crime director and justice for Andy and his family has been the centre of this. Andy's death was completely avoidable and devastating for this family and those who loved him and my thoughts remain with Andy Wood's family and friends and I commend their strength throughout this investigation. Just want to say rest in peace to the victim and my condolences go out to your family. Guys, in the next news story, a popular DJ suffered 94 harrowing injuries after he was kidnapped whilst walking home from a date night. Corey Alpagin was a high-profile radio DJ for Turkish Asian Bizim FM and had links to American rappers and celebrity chefs before he was brutally murdered in October 2022. He was out with his girlfriend, Gozde Dalabudak, and they were both abducted and tortured in a restaurant in central London. Four men had previously been convicted in December last year over the kidnap while another two fled the UK and remain at large. Two others are now on trial accused of being involved in the kidnap and killing. Issei Stoyanov, who's 43, and Dylan Weatherly are accused of murdering Mr Alpagin, two counts of kidnap and two counts of false imprisonments, which they deny. Mr Alpagin and Miss Dabuldak had gone out for food at an expensive restaurant in Mayfair, on October the 13th, 2022, when they were walking home and they were taken by a group of sadistic thugs. The couple who met on holiday in Turkey were confronted by the gang of men who forced them into a white van before they were driven to a wine bar and restaurant known as the Stadium Lounge near the Spurs Stadium on White Hart Lane at around 11 o'clock at night. Mr Bullock was locked in a filthy toilet for two days at the restaurant while Mr Alpagin was beetle, throttled, stabbed and scalded with hot water until he died. His body, which had 14 broken ribs, serious head injuries, was dumped in woodland in Essex two days later where a dog walker devastatingly discovered the corpse. just want to say rest in peace, Corey, my condolences go out to your family. But again, this is a trial which I'll keep you updated on. So guys, there's a number of stories for you once again. If you already haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. And please give this video a little like as it will help with the algorithms and promote it for others. To view as well. Once again, big respect going out to each and every one of you as I appreciate it. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.